What's up everybody? This is Phil from MDC and I've got a few things to look at guys. I got some Matchbox and some Hot Wheels. I um, was lucky enough to find some stuff in the stores. Um, I did find... I did get this. Okay, I'm not going to open this today because a friend of mine did manage to find the, uh, the Nissan GTR Nismo that goes with this. So uh, I'm going to wait for that. I'm probably going to end up picking it up off in tomorrow. So maybe tomorrow night we'll do a video on this one. But I do have some Matchbox. I found this awesome looking Viper. Okay, from the Dodge set. And I got this awesome looking police cruiser. A sheriff's car for the 1978 Dodge Monocle police. Which looks really cool as well. And like I said, I have the, I have this set here, okay. I'm not sure what this set is called, guys. Um, like usual, Hot Wheels, they put out these kind of crazy looking sets, but they don't give them a name. So this one here is one of those and doesn't have a name. So I have the, uh, the Koenig, Jesco. I'll open this up. We have the 2020 Ford Mustang Shelby GT500. And we have the McLaren P1. And also the 17 Acura NSX. Love the color, by the way. And the last of this set is the 71 Porsche 911. Okay. So we have those to look at. Also, I did pick up, <clears throat> excuse me guys, a couple of main lines. We do have this tuned TV series Batmobile, which is pretty cool. We'll crack this guy open as well. Finally did find myself a coupe clip. Okay, we'll get that open up. And I found Toyota Land Cruiser 1980. So that's pretty cool. We got these to uh, check out. Also, spoiler alert, guys, I have some things to show. Guys, you're going to have to smash that subscribe button, uh, guys, because you're not going to want to miss these. I do have the two mail aways. Okay, the Mustang and the Alfa Romeo. And we've got the Legends Tour. Nissan Skyline GTR R32. All right, that's going to be another video. That'll probably be tomorrow's video, guys. All right, so. And I got some mini GT to look at as well, which will also be another video. Okay, so with what we have already, got a good few cars to check out. So uh, let's spin that camera around, guys. And let's take a look at some of these Hot Wheels and a couple of Matchbox. All right. So I guess we're going to get started with these Matchbox, guys. And we're going to crack open this, uh, this Dodge Viper. Okay. Now this one does have a damaged blister, so I kind of saved it from the store from being stolen. And uh, let's see if we can slip it out without even opening the back. Not a chance, eh? Not a chance. Anyways, I don't save the package, so out she comes. And this is a very, very nice Viper. I'm saying this might be one of the nicest Vipers. I've seen done, guys. I mean, look at that. What a gorgeous looking casting. It's so very correct. Obviously, we are missing the rear lights, but I mean, this casting just looks perfect almost. No front detail either, but you do have hood detail. Okay, the color is just gorgeous. Nice metallic blue. Plastic base, plastic wheels, it is Matchbox, but it is gorgeous, just a gorgeous looking Viper guys, I'm, I'm, I'm saying this is stunning, I love it. Okay, now, now we have the 78 Dodge Monaco Police, and this car just looks beautiful as well, okay, I showed you the uh, card art already, right, I mean this, uh, Anyways, you can't really see it there, but the card art is pretty cool. The casting, I mean, Matchbox is up their game, guys. Their, their, their castings are just, past couple of years, 
just been awesome. Look at this beautiful cruiser, guys. What a beautiful, beautiful police cruiser. Again, the color is really awesome. A nice deep blue. Okay. This one gets the metal base. Is it? No, it's plastic base. It looks metal, but it's not. It's plastic. Okay. But it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous casting, guys. Look at that interior. Nicely done. And the color and the wheels are just so correct. That is a very, very nice monocle, guys. Very nice. Okay, now let's jump into some of these Hot Wheels. We got this set here to look at, which, as I said, I don't know what the set is called, but we're going to crack them open in order, I guess. Or does it even matter? Yeah, we'll crack them in order. Starting off with the 2020 Ford Mustang Shelby GT500. In this... I wanted to say lime green, but it's not really lime. It's a little bit different. And there she is. Pretty clean. I mean, you got the Michelin on the back. Shelby in the front. You've got back detail. Look at that back detail, guys. Just fantastic. Now, these are almost mainline, but just a little bit up there. That's why you get the uh, front and rear deco. A little bit more expensive than mainline price. These, I think, go for $250 or so. You've even got the green in the spoiler, which is pretty cool. Uh, in the front grill, I'm sorry. The spoiler. I don't know why I said spoiler there. Just not getting a focus. There we are. Really, really pretty. Plastic base. Side mirrors, guys. I mean, this even comes with side mirrors. Front and back deco and side mirrors. Just beautiful. Okay, number two is the McLaren P1. And this is a casting we've seen many times. But it's a casting you can't get bored of. The McLaren P1 is a very nice casting. Not the F1, obviously. The F1 is a lot nicer, I find. But the P1 is really really nice and in this deco i mean it's full full uh you've got the front light deco okay stripes another color might have been nice i mean this car is always seems to be in orange but then mind you i mean it's it's been in many colors because it's been around a lot but i find that the most colors it comes in is orange but it's a beautiful casting. The McLaren P, P1 doesn't disappoint. Actually, it kind of reminds me of the Cars and Donuts, guys. It looks almost the same. Okay, number three is the Acura NSX 2017. <clears throat> In this blue very beautiful blue and this car usually has busy tempos we did get it in the main line last year 2021 in green or was it even the 2022 can't remember it might have been a 2022 release guys in green i think it's a new one right but in this blue it does look good really racing love the chrome mags and the deco is actually really nice. The way they fade out the, the NSX is pretty cool. You've got rear deco. Tail lights all nice and done. I like it. I like it. Not my favorite NSX casting, but I like it. Now, number four is the 71 Porsche 911. And this is a casting I just love. I'm uh, trying to be a completionist on this one and uh, not easy. Hot Wheels did a lot of Porsche. But look at this in yellow, guys. Isn't it beautiful? The headlights done up. The Porsche emblem is nice. Turn signals actually look inserted. Part of the window. And they are. 
They're part of the window, guys. Okay, that's just fantastic. Look at that. That is really, really sweet. Yellow painted plastic base. I mean, that is just a sweet looking Porsche, guys. Now, those rear tail lights are part of the uh, window as well. Such a clean version. Just beautiful, guys. Overall, this set is not disappointing me one bit. Every single car in here is good. And you got the side mirrors again. Not too bad. Now for the Jesco. And this Jesco, guys, might be my favorite version of it yet. Okay, this color and striping is just beautiful. Now with this car, we've had it in a few colors. I think this is the third or fourth time it's been released. Let me just show you the paint, guys. Okay, look at that paint. Isn't that special? That is just a gorgeous, gorgeous paint, guys. And that just makes this car stunning. You've got the headlight detail, striping. I mean, the car is gorgeous, guys. And this came out, as I said, how many colors we have now? Uh, the Koenig, let me just see if I can find it on my wall. Where are you? Yes, we've had it in silver, white, and dark gray. Now this, I think this color just might do it its full justice, guys. Look at how beautiful. Even the mags are just gorgeous. In my books, nicest version yet. Okay, let's get into some... Well, first of all, we'll crack open this Toyota Land Cruiser. Dirty. Second release of this truck here, guys. We did get a clean version first in a gray. Now, we're getting a dirty version. And I always said it. I, like, I said it when it first came out. This casting was really... Really well done, guys. Just a beautifully done casting. Headlights are awesome. Side mirrors. You got off-road stickers, which look great. Fantastic, fantastic. Black plastic base. Muddy tires. This is just well done casting, guys. Could use rear deco, but we didn't get it. Okay, now for a couple of a little bit different castings. Well, this first one here is definitely a different casting. I mean, this one has never been done yet. We've never seen a tuned Batmobile. And here it is. Hot Wheels getting creative again. Gotta love it. And the next two that I'm going to show you actually are very creative. So, like this one here, first of all, is extremely creative. And you know what? I bet you this little guy just flies down the track, guys. That is just too cool looking. Little tiny Batmobile. <laughs> That's just really, really crazy looking. Really crazy looking. Does this move? No, that's fixed. Okay. Did get, I think it's a, no, it's a plastic base. Car's all metal. So we got to get a plastic base. Okay. Last guys. We have this crazy, crazy idea Hot Wheels came up with. And it's pretty awesome, I think. I've seen some guys customize this and actually make a car out of it, which is pretty awesome. But, it's pretty nice to have a Zamac keychain, guys. I think that's pretty awesome of Hot Wheels. It gives a whole new meaning to pocket rides, guys. Okay. And it is heavy. It is a solid piece. It's riveted, so it must be two pieces. It must be hollow inside. So not heavy, 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 like to weigh your pockets down. It's actually a pretty good weight to it. All right. Now, obviously, we don't have to worry about this thing rolling off or anything. And you do have a Hot Wheels logo on it, which is pretty awesome looking. 
Now, does it look like a 240ZX? Who knows what this car is? Does it look like that? Hmm. Not far from it. Could even be a Shelby Cobra. Who knows? But not bad. Pretty good idea from Hot Wheels. Hats off. Great concept. I'm loving it. Now I'm going to attach it to my keychain. Guys, till next time, please subscribe, smash that subscribe button, guys. You don't want to miss out on the uh, the mail aways and the uh, Legend Store, guys. I'm going to crack those open tomorrow. So, uh, and I got some Mini GT to look at too. Okay, so uh, next video going to be a good one. So, guys, till next time, be safe, be well. Happy hunting, guys. There's lots of stuff out there. Get out there and find it all, guys. All right? Ciao.